Okay. Roll the camera. Okay. 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 Stress more news. I'm Fergie. And I'm Chris Brown. Today on Stress more news, we have the top news stories from the South Waikato, and in particular from Stress more school. But first up, we have a report about some visitor to Wellington. Strathmore School visits Wellington every two years. Only the Year 5 and 6 students get to go on camp. Last year, the Year 5 and 6 students went to Little Waihe Beach, which is near Makatu. Lots of you will be wanting to know why they have chosen Wellington and what their trip to Wellington was like. To find out more, we now cross over to Elijah, our on-the-spot reporter with Roman. Elijah and here we have Roman. Hi Roman and thanks for joining us today. First of all Roman welcome to Wellington. Now can you tell me about some of the things you're going to do down here? Well Elijah lots of things. We've been to Parliament, to Papa and on Thursday afternoon we're going to Picton. Oh and, and on Wednesday oh and this afternoon we're going to Westpac Stadium. That sounds great. Now can you tell us what your trip down to Wellington was like? It was pretty good, but it was a long day. We left at 8 a.m. and didn't get here till 4.30 p.m. We stopped at lunch in Taiapi. What are you looking forward to most, Roman, while you're in Wellington? I'm so excited about going to Westpac Stadium. I hope to meet some Hurricane players. Also, I'm excited about going on the ferry to the South Island. It's going to be me. Thanks, Roman. And that's all from me. An interesting interview. Thanks, Elijah. What are we up to? Just keep saying. Thank you, Elijah. And now for something completely different. Kia ora ana. As you probably know, for the last few weeks, about everyone has been watching MasterChef New Zealand. Oh. TV One on Sunday nights. Yes, folks, we are talking about MasterChef New Zealand from 8.30pm until 9.30pm on TV One. Our reporter has been out and about and came across a very special person. He may be able to tell us something about MasterChef New Zealand. Thanks Rico, I'm Nurika and joining me now is Phoenix. Hi Phoenix, welcome to Wellington. I hear you have a family member who has been on MasterChef New Zealand. Actually I have, it's my dad, his name is Cameron Marshall Petley, Cam for short. Well Phoenix, how did he come to be on the show? Well he had to try out for it, he cooked venison, that's deer meat. The judges liked it and he got picked for the show. How well did he do in the competition? Well, he made it through to the last six. We are all very proud of him. Cool t-shirt, buddy. Where'd you get it from? I purchased it from Morrissey's. Even or La Larry will serve you. How much are they? $20. What does it say? Bring back Cam. Where does all the money go? To my dad. Well done, Phoenix. And we're all out of time. Over to you, Paige and Rico. Thanks, Neuerika. And now for something completely different. Last week, Strathmore School took part in a South Waikato Ripper Rugby tournament. They were up against some strong opposition from other schools. They have trained hard at school since the start of the year. They have worked hard on their fitness and have been looking forward to getting on the field. To catch up on the ex action, let's cross to our on-the-spot reporter who has more on the situation. Over to you, Ricky. Paige, I'm Ricky, and joining me here now is Walking. Hi there, Walking. Who are the coaches for the Strathmore team? Well, the team has been coached by Keith Kyer and Darren Costa. They've been practice over the holidays. 
Who did Strathmore School play in the tournament in Tokoro and who were their best players? We played very strong teams but fortunately came out as winners and the whole team can take credit for an all-round team effort and I must say each player showed dedication and all-round talent and skill. What happens now that Strathmore School have won in Tokoro? They go on to play against all the best Waikato teams in Hamilton. If Strathmore win that, they go they get to go to Auckland for the New Zealand finals. Thanks for your time, Marking. Can you bust a move or two? We're all out of time. Over to you, Raina, with the weather update. Kia ora, kia orana, lava and greetings. Here is the weather for our wonderful country tomorrow. In the north from Kwaitai to Auckland, forget going outside, it's going to bucket down. Good weather for ducks with highs of 18 and 19 degree. From Hamilton to Tokoroa, expect sunny conditions with light winds and a high of 24 degrees. From Taipo to Tai Hape, oh, winds and about two metres of snow. Brrr. Temperatures around Wellington, your weather is fine but with some fog in the morning. Perfect for crossing to Picton with highs of 20 and 21 degrees. Northwesterly winds are predicted in Christchurch and a high of 25 degrees. Queenstown gets a big snowstorm and minus 8 degrees. Brrr. There will be a widespread thunderstorms in Otago and Southland. Temperatures for the Highlanders in Dunedin will be 5 degrees. If you're going to the game, wrap up warm. That's, oh, that's all from us for now. Good night New Zealand and catch you tomorrow. Back to the news desk with Paige and Rico. Thanks, Raina and Rangi. Thanks for tuning on. Oh. Thanks for our reporters, Elijah, Nivarika and Ricky. Thank you for tuning in and we hope you enjoyed our interviews. Thank you to our Strathmore Studio crew. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. From the whole team at Strathmore, goodbye, enohora and kakiti. Roll the camera. Okay. 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have featured an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one. Take one. Take two.